Welcome to the dark future of high tech and low life. That's right, today we are talking about Cyberpunk 2020, the now dead collectible card game. And what a more fitting time of year to talk about something dead than October, my absolute favorite time of the year, Halloween spookiness and the dark and scary future. Well, at least a couple of years ago, I suppose, since this is Cyberpunk 2020, not to be confused with Cyberpunk 2077 or the very excellent Cyberpunk Red. By the way, if you are a tabletop role-playing game connoisseur, you play like Dungeons and Dragons and that kind of stuff, I highly recommend checking out Cyberpunk Red. It is fantastic. You can buy the core box, or this is the core box, or like the, the big old chunky rule set. My Dungeons and Dragons group actually did a um, Cyberpunk Red campaign and it was a ton of fun, so highly recommend Cyberpunk Red. But for today's video, we're gonna be talking about the dead 90s card game, Cyberpunk 2020. Before we get started with that, a word from today's sponsor. It is me. Definitely check out redzonerogue.com because we have a brand new Halloween themed playmat made by a community member and excellent anime artist, Lucky Yuki. She does stuff with We Cross, and I reached out to her about doing like a collaborative effort, a Lucky Customs and Red Zone Rogue collaboration. So here we have our two original characters, Katsumi and Veya, and a really cute Halloween themed. I only have 25 of these. We do have sleeves as well. They're available to buy right now on redzonerogue.com for all of you anime fans out there. And, um, you know, it's really cute. Links in the description down below if you'd like to pick up this playmat. But without further ado, let's take a look at Cyberpunk 2020. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna open up this box of uh, starter decks as well as a booster box back here. A couple years back, right before the pandemic hit, I was buying up a bunch of dead card games because it's just something I like to collect. And this was one of the cheapest ones I could get. They were dirt cheap. I bought an entire case, a, an original factory sealed case of boxes from Cyberpunk 2020 for like $15 or something. I have so many booster boxes. I still have like six or seven sealed, uh, including this and these decks. I've never opened up the decks though. I only bought one thing of the decks, so this is gonna be fun. I do know, by the way, if you're a fan of Cyberpunk 2077, I know it's getting a lot more traction these days with the Cyberpunk Edge Runners anime, which is, oh, it's so good. You should definitely watch it on Netflix. But um, there are characters in this that you would recognize from Cyberpunk 2077, like Johnny Silverhand, Adam Smasher, Morgan Blackhand, these legends of Night City, this is a really fun and weird game. Some some of the art is really good and some of the art is not as good. So um, join me for this. This is gonna be a lot of fun diving into the dark future. All right, so let's dive into the past or the dark future, however you wanna put it. I do believe they only ever made this one set and they only had these two products. We have the booster box, which has 40 packs inside as well as this starter deck brick. It says it has um, one of each of the six sponsors. So we have Biotechnica, Militech, NCPD, your friendly local gangs, the Mob and the Nomads. Um, and here we also have the designers of this. Yeah, the game died after like this set was released. And I do think, or do, I do remember hearing a story about how there's a giant warehouse, or there was a giant warehouse just full of this product and people are going in and picking it up for like absolutely dirt cheap. So it's still dirt cheap. Uh, I'm not sure about like right now, but I picked these up about, you know, a couple of years ago for super, super cheap. I was gonna do an older video here on Red Zone Rogue on these, but you know, never got around to it. Did a lot of research, but never got around to actually making the video. That's long before we actually hit our 10,000 subscriber milestone, which is what this playmat's from. Still have these on the website, by the way, if you'd like to pick up one, um, but not with this art. This is like the special art that we gave to um, uh, winners of the, the 10K giveaway. But you can still buy the, uh, the regular version of this. Um, also, there's that new, uh, that new Halloween play, Mike. Let's check that out. Anyway, let's open up the starter deck first. So like I said, I only bought one of these starter deck bricks. I think I bought this for 10 or $15 uh, back in 2020. Um, Absolutely love checking out old dead games. This is one that I always wanted to check out because I love cyberpunk. Um, you know, I just love the, the world and the lore. And this is one of the games that I saw as a kid, but never got around to it because I was played, you know, magic or whatever. And here we have 
all of them. This is actually gonna be new for me because I've, I've never actually opened up any of these starter decks. Um, I have opened up like three or four of these booster boxes because like I said, I bought a case for very cheap, less than a, way less than $100. Um, still have a lot of these in the background dis background display. All right, so let's, who do we want to go with first? Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that there's no like Arasaka because that's such a big thing, at least in the, the more modern cyberpunk stuff. We do have Militech. Um, we'll start out with something that we know, Militech, or at least that you might know um, from the cyberpunk um, 2020, 2077 video game. Um, so yeah, we're gonna check this out. This is kind of like, the way I like to think about these for the CCG Graveyard, is I don't think I'm gonna call this that anymore, but um, this is kind of like the new player experience, you know, the same kind of experience that you would get if you bought this back in 1990 something. Hold on, we're gonna find the date on here. Okay, this is 2003. So it's a little bit, a little bit later than I thought. I thought this was like 1990, like, Eight or something like that, but 2003, a little bit newer, but 2003 is still almost 20 years ago, <laughs> which is so sad. All right, so the inside does not come shrink wrap, just the outside here. Let's get a little, is this the same blurb? Oh, it is the same blurb. The last operation was almost a disaster. Systems black ice trashed the Netrunner, and then the cops showed up. If Angel hadn't called in a hit, your whole team would have been toast. As you hustle back to the a AV9, you remember the last thing Ripperjack said. I like how this Ripperjack is like capitalized, but they use the word like Ripperjack to mean just any Ripper, any doctor who does cybernetic implants or whatever in 2077. Um, there'll be time for sleep when you're dead. Maybe too true, but there's no time to think about it now. You've uh, got two more ops to hit before luxury is like thinking. Better reload the shotgun. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> That's, that's what we're in for here. Made by Social Games. Uh, subsidiary of, uh, or not subsidiary, but all Talzorian Games Inc. They do still exist. The other place does not still exist. So we have Militech begins in play. The mall. Uh, AV1, hey look, this is the AV1 that it. Oh no, it was AV9. Here's another mall. Kinshiri F253 uh, flamethrower. So. If you're familiar with the new Magic the Gathering uh, Warhammer 40k commander decks, you know that some of the art in those commander decks is actually from official Games Workshop stuff where some of the art is created for it. Well, similar here, some of the art in here was from like the Cyberpunk, you know, 27 or 2022, um, you know, manuals and official stuff. And then some of the art was drawn for this. And a lot of the times you can tell some of the art was made, um, you know, beforehand, and then some of the art was made specifically for this. Um, so yeah, not 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 all the art is good. Um, some of it's okay, like this one definitely. This is one that was definitely from like a cyberpunk source book, right? Um, whereas I don't think that this dog one is the Robo Hound. I want that prototype. Robo Hound, Espionage, Chipware, Socket. Um, it, this game definitely has like that old, that old like 90s, I, I guess early 2000s vibe, right? Um, it's interesting how these are Jimmy Blitz, <laughs> good old Jimmy Blitz. It's interesting how these are uh, collated in the pack, right? Like one after another, like they're alternating, high five. Um, if you, John Smith, look at that, John Smith. Um, if you, are familiar with this game, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know what your opinions of this are. Did you play this in the early 2000s? Um, we're gonna flip through this a little bit quicker. I don't think, are there many rares? I think these might be rares here. The Arasaka Blades. Uh, we have History Repeats Itself. Assassin, I think the rarity is down here, right? So we have squares and circles and then the little lightning bolts. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the uh, lightning bolts are the rares, the rules. Man, this really takes me back. Look at these, look at these little tiny, little tiny things. Remember staring at these little squinting, squinting at these little tiny books? Uh, Carrie Layson, she looks cool. 
Is she gonna be in that deck with, with the hazard face on it, this one? I hope so, because she's cool. She's cool looking. All right, so that's the Militech deck. From here on, we're gonna we're gonna go through these pretty quickly. So this is Nomad deck. Because I wanna get to the booster packs, because I think that's gonna be the most fun uh, part out of this. Um, also, since we're just kind of chatting here, just kind of hanging out, like I said, this is kind of like the new experience if you just like pick these up in 2003. Um, except you're not gonna be talking about this in 2003. Anyone want watch the um, the new cyberpunk anime, Edge Runners? Uh, I watched it like maybe the day it came, like the day after it came out, something like that, and um, it's really good. So here we have the Nomads. Definitely some of the old artwork there. AVI, more of the weapons, paddy wagon, paddy wagon. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible. I, I really wonder these days if a more updated modern cyberpunk card game would do well. Because currently the, it's pretty pretty hot right now. We have Splice, Netrunner. Um, Techno Trash, Netrunner. The cards with the black borders, I believe are the, like the character cards or like Nomad Driver. Yeah, I think they're just the character cards. Madison, she's a solo. I do like how they implement some of the character classes. So you have like med tech here. We got a solo, um, open road. This is very, you know, very nomad-y. Astra style six is a pistol. Um, bring them back. Hey, wait, th does it not? Data Polytech, ghetto bird. <laughs> Finesse. I'll say, where's the where's the character from the, the box? Rebecca Miller. So this one is one that I do believe comes in the booster pack. I wonder if all of these can come in the booster packs. Uh, Rebecca Miller, she's a media. We have a, a mono katana. I know, that art looks really cool, by the way. We have Hunter, custom grips. Look at this CG ass art, dude. <laughs> Look at this CG ass art. Oh my God, Jabberwocky, Cyber, Cyber Ferret, let's go. Uh, Lawn the Finger and Dummy Rounds. Um, it, it didn't come with, uh, didn't come with her. Disappointed. Oh, by the way, here's here's what the back of back of this looks like. There's two different colors, so I assume you have two separate decks. Otherwise, the card backs. Yeah, I mean you got it. If you have different color card backs, you probably have two different color decks. Um, if you have two different color card backs, you have two different decks. Um, this one is Biotechnica. I think we're just gonna open up. Yeah, we'll just open up one more of these and we'll get to the, the booster packs, right? Or maybe, yeah, we'll just open a Biotechnica and then we'll get to the, the booster packs. Because I think the booster packs are more exciting. And honestly, it looks like I think a lot of the cards from these are actually in the booster packs. And at least from the booster packs, we'll start seeing some like rares. Um, so we'll see like Johnny Silverhand, hopefully, and then maybe some other stuff here. I don't think these cards come in the booster packs. Um, which I think is your agenda or whatever, um, cyber arms. So I think you do probably have to get the Borg conversion center. I think you do need to get the um, starter decks for that. Skin weave. Seen some. You know, we got we got John Smith here already. I mean this is a this is a corpo thing, right? Um, Black ops specialist netrunner. There's some kind of like really cool cards, like in the uh in the booster packs but i mean there's also some really doofy looking stuff in there um hold out oh where are the rares they're they're i was like thinking the rares would be at the end here like the other ones the arcade no who wants to go to the arcade all right let's get to the booster packs let's get to the booster packs um because i think that's probably the most interesting thing here i guess you know if you were new back in like 20 or 2003 and you had all these starter decks to choose from which one would you pick i'd pick the one probably with the the girl on it as opposed to like like with this joker looking mf -er, like it's like chilling down there um all right <laughs> let's let's get on to the actual booster packs because like i said i think this is where the most fun comes in because you get some really cool cards. Um, and like I said, this is something that, you know, I bought a case of it, so I opened up a bunch of these a couple years ago. It's been a solid like two years since I've done this. So I don't remember exactly where the rares are, but I do remember, like, look at the, look at the art. 
in, on these booster packs here. Look at this, Cyberpunk 2020. Look at, look at this crazy, look at this crazy art, man. I do like how the booster packs are like pretty chrome, which is very on theme with Cyberpunk. All right, let's do it. They're also like much smaller packs. I think they have maybe eight cards, 10 cards, 10 collectible cards. Cyberpunkccg.com. I'd be willing to bet that doesn't exist anymore. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's check this out. We have cameraman, look so, rarities right here on the bottom. We have a circle, this is common. Polymer one shot, common. Corporate recruiter, we've seen some of these in those decks like the Robo Hound. Da Ice Boys. <laughs> we have a scope. And then we have charity drive, which looks awesome. I forget her name. Pretty sure she's a character in it. Anyway, uh, there's a the little lightning bolt in the bottom. I'm pretty sure that's a rare. And then we have Milo Stevenson, square. Light Weave Armored Trench, also square, and the Nomad Healer. So it's a bunch of commons, you have your rare, and then you have um, the uncommons, basically, is how it goes. So uh, at some point we'll start just hitting the same commons, but I do wanna flip through these individually for now because there's some good, and by good I mean insane looking stuff. We have a tech scanner, John Smith. Some of the stuff's not too bad, you know, like a trench coat here. Get your junk, junkyard doc, quote doc, fool's errand. Madison, uh, Kresnikov booster wear, that's our rare. Um, we have Fear the Reaper, Trashing the Corp Zone, and <laughs> dude's head's exploding. Destroy the head and the body will fall. Holy boosh, dude. Holy boosh. Um, but yeah, after opening up several boxes, can confirm there's some cool characters in here that you'll, you'll, you'll recognize. Um, like Jimmy Blitz and John Smith, and a trench coat, and Junkyard Doc, Fool's Errand, Arasaka Nauseator, this is the rare, just makes you wanna barf. We have uh, Millibel, it is just a truck. We have Oni, he's a cop. He's a super cop, meet the cop, who can't be stopped. The bro looks like Jet Li, totally. Militech Dragon, that's a, that's a gun. Um, yeah, I can't help but wonder like how popular this game was when it came out. I can't imagine it was that popular because obviously it died after one set, but um, I'm, I'm just curious if there was like a, a scene for it. People were like, oh yeah, hell yeah. Cyberpunk, we got scope, Jimmy Blitz. And, or if you're just opening up packs and you're like, God, another Jimmy Blitz. We have a corporate HQ. We have target swap, fight the power. And then, uh, There'll be time for sleep when you're dead. Hey, that's the thing that's uh, they said on the back of the on the on the back of the, the box, on the back of the starter box. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna delve, delve delve into the dark future here. We have Arasaka Junior Executive. There's a lot of them, a lot of them there. Uh, Mustang Arms Raider. Here we got some different cards. We got Beat Cop, Nomad, Black Ops Specialist. This is some Matrix looking stuff. Nomad Bug looks ug ugly as hell. AV9, oh, that's the one. That's the one, from, and also from the back of the box. Fake ID. We have a meat grinder, rocker, and then a katana. The other katana looks cooler than this, this katana. Um, want to buy other katana? Cooler katana? Um, yeah. I was just thinking about like starter decks, J jury duty. Yeah, that, that, that's what it felt like going to jury duty. Uh, Mitsu Hover, Hover. I was gonna say Hover. New software. Look at look at that dude's mask, man. Monorail pass. Political assassination. Look at this ugly truck, dude. This ugly truck. Cash cow. Royalties. Bro's just chilling. We have uh, Ian the Finger. Dummy rounds. And then a uh, Max Tack. Yo, there's a Max Tack here. That's a Max Tack rookie though. Um, so like I said. There's some stuff you'll recognize in, in here from like Cyberpunk 2077, like Max Tack, you know, some of the names like Arasaka. Um, there are some, like I said, some characters that are still around, even though this is like 57 years before Cameraman. Um, here's a Cyber Modem Link. Jeez, even though it's in the future, that, that just looks old. Uh, Street War, Impound Lot. It's because like, like who uses, who uses modems? Like, 
I guess you need like a router for your Wi-Fi. <laughs> um, maybe maybe like the the you know the hardware tech. Uh, got another Hover, new software, political muscle man, cloning center. Look at that. Look at that weird weird old cloning center. Uh, run and hide fashion studio. So that's Johnny Silverhand right there, by the way. Doesn't look like uh, Keanu Reeves, but you know, I think he's he's blonde in this, by the way. And that's the same same artist who drew that draws like the actual Johnny Silverhand card, because there's an actual John, Johnny Silverhand card. Um, and I, I do believe there's no like Rogue, which is unfortunate for me because of the name of this channel. But also I like the character Wolvers. That's the rare cyber weapon, minus three. EMP loss, black market melee. Look at look at those wolvers. <laughs> goofy, goofy looking. Oh, here's the the the, the 3D ass art, dude. Look at that. Jabberwocky and a cyber ferret. Let's go. But uh, yeah, look at these custom grips. Yeah, the i just the art, man. Some of it's like real jank, real real jank. Um, I mean, if you made a cyberpunk card game these days. The art would have to be like immaculate. Running interference. Come on, let's get. I want to get some of the cool, like, uh, cool main characters. Lightweave armor trench. That looks kind of cool. Nomad healer. That's okay. It's acceptable. It's acceptable. Um, but yeah, you see a lot of like weird design things with this. Like, they tried to make it look like future techie with like these green, green words or the green outlines, but they look really ugly, like interposed on the, the card frames because the card frames look really ugly. <laughs> they look so bad. Chain rip, look at that. Cyber weapon, who's packing? We have emergency room, poser, and taco hut. No, oh, let's go, this is another one of the cards that I wanted to show off. Look at this card, look at this taco hut. It's a grocery store, kill. Kill a corpy is what it says. I believe they call them corpos, <clears throat> not corpies. But um, yeah, look at this. Look at this taco hut, dude. I should send that. I should send that to uh, Alpha Investments. <laughs> send that taco hut card to Rudy from Alpha Investments. Um, pain editor. Shooting range, skin weave, short circuit, smart gun link. This is a classic art piece from. Uh, Cyberpunk. I think that was uh, art from one of the. Um, ooh, Spider. This is that was some artwork from one of the the, the core rule books. Spider Murphy is actually in Cyberpunk 2077. She's in the flashback when you're setting off the bomb in Arasaka Tower. Ooh, alt. Um, so yeah, here's some multiple characters that were from the recent stuff. So we have Spider Murphy, uh, the Netrunner. She's the one who's like hacking the door and stuff. Uh, you also have Alt, who is also very prominently in Cyberpunk 2077. I won't spoil it, but she's a legendary Netrunner, Soul Killer. So, yeah. Some of the stuff is cool looking. Like this is cool looking, right? Um, which is kind of, kind of a shame. Like this, this game has like kernels of coolness in it, but just because it's like, you know, so old, a lot of it's like real, real jank looking. But it's also one of those card games that's still like absolutely dirt cheap. So if you, you know, are the kind of person who's like, yeah, I'm just gonna collect all of the one thing, it'd be pretty easy to collect all of this game because there's only like one set. So you could buy like, you know, a brick of the starter decks. You could buy, um, you know, a booster case like I did and then just open up some stuff, leave some stuff sealed and then boom, you got like a full, a full collection of this game. Police auction yard. Um, we have turning the tables. Yeah, we're gonna torpedo police interceptor. We have Danzen, not to be confused with Dan Zig. Um, you only want to get the legendary, the the, the legendary uh, cards. I'm not sure mechanically what makes them any different, um, but uh, yeah, brain dance arcade. Look at that, dude. Cyber arms. Yeah, it's still seeing coffin motel. They look, they're like the Japanese, like little, the little pod, pod motel, cyber legs. Scrafted muscle. Yeah, some of these cards, phone splice. Yo, look at, that's another absolutely classic cyberpunk art, dude. Look at that. That subdermal armor. I'm gonna hold it off over here. Maybe I'll use this as a thumbnail. 
<laughs> probably, probably not. Um, tech hair, bro. Look at that. Look at that hair. As from go from Go Again Gaming, bro. Um, yeah, dude. All right. Well, that that's a good one. That's a, that's a good looking one. So yeah, I mean, like, this game has that as art, and then like Taco Hut, right? It's all over the place. It's all over the place. Some of it just like looks rushed, right? Not necessarily bad, but like rushed with like little detail, like kind of comic booky, like this data terminal. And then you have like that. I mean, come on. Um, change in management. We have Gizmo Techie. Lone Shark. Bro, that's, that's a little brutal right there. Um, and you know, I don't want to dunk on the artists. Could have been like a time constraint thing. Could have been like they just hired inexperienced artists because it's cheaper. Um, or that was kind of cool. Or it's like, you know, they hired their friends or whatever who's like, oh, I'm an artist, trust me. The big hit. Uh, sneak suit. Uh, majority shareholder in a good old stim patch. But um, yeah, come on. I'm, 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 I'm hoping to get, there's a couple of cards in here that I have pulled. Um, cause like I said, I've opened up like, I don't know, several boxes. Tiger Bob's Dojo. Um, and then Bob's used AVs. Bob's everywhere, man. Um, R&D facilities. Now, whoa, what is that? Break the Data Fortress. We also have Kill Display. And then bringing down the house. There's some cool legendary ones, basically is what I'm getting at. There's Johnny Silverhand, Morgan Blackhand. There's one called Clone that looks like Morgan Blackhand, but it's not. Cyber Audio. Personal Assistant. Hmm. Um, here we have Net 50, 50 whatever new studio. <laughs> we got that. We have uh, YT. We have, oh, let's go. Silverhand six string and a Zane Red. Yo, let's go instrument. That one's cool too. See, I like that on this. I dig that. Um, yeah. So I think there are a lot of games like this in the 90s, to be honest. And I think games like this are the reason why. The art looks really cool on that one. Um, a lot of folks thought for the longest time that, um, you know, card games won't survive, uh, you know, a couple months. You know, we have one set, the game dies. And that's how it was for a long time, right? Um, games like this would come out, have a set, and then die, even if they were, you know, a, a bigger property. Though, I would say Cyberpunk, up until recently, was more of a niche property. And even now, it's still, like, fairly niche, right? Um, gotta have the, the sewers. Um, you know, it's becoming bigger with the, the anime and with uh, Cyberpunk 2077 kind of having a resurgence recently because, you know, they fixed a lot of the problems. The game itself is honestly, like really fun too drunk to pass out i feel you just a prison yard it's just a prison yard job fair with classic artwork there chrome legs and a justice database absolutely classic cyberpunk art um yeah very curious like if you're watching this by the way and you're watching this far i don't know how many people are watching like 30 minutes into this but um crowbar I'm just really curious to know if you're watching this because it's cyberpunk, if you're just, just a regular on the channel here, Bioworld Neural Network. Um, I figured now is a good time to do this. One, because I just wanted to do, you know, kick off, you know, uh, Halloween season with something a little scary. <laughs> this is a scary game because Ufa, you saw that taco, taco hut art, right? Um, this finesse. There's one card in here that looks real bad this one looks really good arm trace um yeah but there's a couple that just look so bad um yeah but so i figured you know with the resurgence of the game 2077 and uh, edge runners i figured you know what now that's a good time to, to put out the the cyberpunk video um tv skin you can watch it watch tv on the skin weird it's conan o'brien Conan O'Connor. That's totally Conan O'Brien. Yeah. I was going to say uh, Conan O'Brien catchphrase, but does Conan O'Brien even have a catchphrase? I don't know, man. Astro Style 6. 
the PX. Um, 24-7. It's like a Circle K kind of thing. Crackdown. Death Before Dishonor. Yeah, cool stuff. I'd also like to know if anyone out there has actually played the Cyberpunk uh, tabletop RPG. I think it's really fun. It's a, definitely a different system than D&D. Uh, d and is much easier, especially like the newer D&D. We have a carnival. All right. All right. Whatever is going on there. Uh, framed, burning down the house. Go for donuts, bro. I can go for some donuts right now. Um, God, this is just old and just... Uh, it's, it's interesting. If you've never opened up like old card games, the feel is so different compared to some of the newer stuff here. Uh, the Underground, we're getting a lot of these like location type stuff. Hell yo, yo, yo! We got, I said that weird. We got, we got the character, Carrie Layson. Oh, I like her. She's cute. She's not a rare though. Yo, chess. Want to play some chess? <laughs> uh, cop. She's a cop. Oh, she's an undercover cop. Gotcha. Um, I, li I like, I like Carrie. She's cool. Um, it's funny that she's on the, the front of the starter deck for the Nomads, but she's not in the deck. Unless I missed it. I went through it too quickly. I didn't see it. We have Tech tech Shop. Um, torso Plate. Bro, the art in that. Uh, unmasked. Oh, you thought it was Mr. Arasaka. It's really Steven Ass Assassin. Uh, headline Hijack. Bad Press. Um, where's my, like, sweet... Where's my sweet uh, legendary dudes? I, I know. I wonder how rare they were. Some some uh, card games, the way they did rares is they just had the same number of cards for all of the rarities. So they were like, say there were, there's a, there's a butt, there's a butt right there. The butt, ba backup singer, Pixel. And we have a Barrett. <laughs> Look at the art of that one, dude, bro. Um, so like say the set was 300 cards, right? There'd be a hundred rares, a hundred uncommons and a hundred commons. And what dictated the rarity is how often they showed up in the packs. Um, sometimes that just makes it really, really difficult to collect things. Uh, we have style over substance, the rocker package. Okay, 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 okay. We have wrench head. She likes his wrenches, man. And then Shiva, beagle motorcycle. Hmm. I'm not sure what rarity type system they, they went for this, but got a stadium. God, we have a lot of these locations, man. Um, we have a Biotechnica Cybernetic. I really, I really wonder. So like back in the day, the way you found out pricing from um, on these old card games is you would, you know, look at Scry Magazine or whatever. Does anyone have any Scry magazines from 2003 that had this cyberpunk card game in it and had like pricing of cards? Like what were the expensive cards? I'm so curious. I really, I really gotta know. We have a Max Tack Buck bust, uh, Silver Hand Studios. Um, Micro Missile Launcher. Bro is Genos from One Punch Man. That is a Genos. What, <laughs> what is that art? What? Chrome arms. Buff, dude. Look at this one. Oh my god. That looks... Oh my god. That was published. That art is in official. Like, people give, like, MetaZoo stuff, like, crap for their art. But, like, come on now. Come on now. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, some of it looks a little bit incomplete. Here we have the combat arena. See, that looks cool. It's punching the head off a robot. We have the Cred Heads, the band. Um, that looks pretty sweet too. SAS Enfield Spitfire. Voodoo, the fixer. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think they, someone did an interview, Info Broker, look at that. Uh, someone did an interview with the folks behind this game and it was really, really interesting. It's been a long time since I listened to it Night City Courthouse. So I don't remember who exactly did Combat Zone. If you're watching this video for whatever reason and you did the interview with the creators of this game, let me know. I want to say it was like C 
CCG history or something like that. Maybe we got another info broker. Um, Tiger Dojos. We got a snitch. Man, this box was not good. Techno trash. I was hoping we'd get like some Johnny Silverhands and Morgan Blackhand and everyone, you know, got a name with hand in it. Going out of business sale. Um, Ripper Duck. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, in my element. We got a splice. Linear frame. Look at that. Looks kind of cool. Oh, we have another alt. At least we got like alt. Like, got, got a couple alts. I think it's because she's just uncommon. Um, if I can't talk about alt too much because like she was like a like a net runner. She's also Johnny Silverhand's like main main lady. I have a junkyard. Um, but talking about look at that. Talking about uh, you know any more than that really spoils <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077 because she's in that. Um, so yeah, um, we got two more packs left. This was interesting. Um, and I'm really curious to know your thoughts and opinions on this. Um, videos like this typically don't do super well, but you know, I think it's fun diving into these old dead card games. Um, we have a Maelstrom initiate. Initiate. Look at that. I keep saying, look at that. I keep saying, look at that. I, d I don't know why we have sneak, uh, Militech Spaz, Sable, Sable and the Babies, and a Viper. We didn't get the ugly truck. There's a card in this that's just a dude standing next to a truck and it's like the, one of the ugliest things I've ever, ever seen. So, I mean, some of the stuff looks great. Looks so, if like the art was this consistent throughout the entire thing, it would be so good. But you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's uh, not quite as good. And sometimes it's this, and sometimes it's like this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, once, I said, once again, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, I do know that you can get like um, uh, Soboro, Arasaka, there's Johnny Silverhand, Morgan Blackhand, and a, a couple other characters like main to old cyberpunk that show up in 2077. You can get in this game. Um, but we didn't. We get a lot of these locations. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end. You're awesome. We'll see you next time.